I was asking you guys, what do you guys do to save money? Any type of little tricks and things you have under your sleeves? Any type of uh, organic deodorant or things you make on your own? You know, use your resources you have upon you because this holiday we might be using something different, okay? Because this 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 item has now gone in grocery stores for way too much money, so we might have to use a substitution to still get around the holiday, all right? And people are doing so, as recorded on this article. But first, I'm gonna ask Justin because I'm very interested by what he does to save money because he's a big save money guy. I'm very frugal with my money. He is. I I, I love uh, arguing with people and I love getting my way. And uh, <laughs> I, I think a few yeah. weeks ago. I think a few weeks ago I might have told the story about the um, the speaker issue that yes, I was having. You did. Uh, I was dealing with a, an issue involving a speaker company. I got a mm-hmm. speaker from them in 2020. That speaker ended up breaking. I told them a sob story about the speaker making a loud noise while I was on the bus. I wasn't on the bus, and I said everyone was looking at me. I had to get off the bus <laughs> because I was embarrassed, and then I walked home 15 miles. So they sent me a free speaker. So nice. Did I. Now I got that speaker in 2021 as a two, as a one year warranty it stopped working a few weeks ago so i called up the speaker company and i said guys the speaker's not working they said we already (laughs) sent you one we already sent you another speaker i'm sorry it's already been a year since the warranty we can't do anything i kept on complaining 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 eventually they sent me a coupon for 30 percent off i believe it was but that wasn't good enough so this past week i finally got what i wanted i got the email Thanks for taking the time to contact us. We understand how important it is you to have a working unit. We would like to let you know that all of our calls are being reviewed and recorded for quality assurance. I also said the people on the phone line said some words to me. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> so we are here to make this right. As of our valued customer and for your support in, of our products, we're willing to extend a one-time courtesy replacement of your unit. Well, now it's a two-time uh, because uh, this is the second time I will be receiving this unit for free. So you got to wow, continue. You actually fight. got it? I got it for free. Wow. I have to send it back uh, at, the, at the UPS store later this week, and uh, I will be receiving that speaker. But there are some other tips I want to give out there. Let me hear them. Right. Here's some tips. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the movie theater. Now, yeah. I have the Regal Unlimited movie pass, so does. this doesn't really pertain to me. But if anybody doesn't have any of these AMC or Regal movie passes, here's some th- tips and tricks that you can use. So number one. Go to the Fandango machine. The Fandango machines are usually up front at the movie theater. Go to those machines and purchase your tickets there. Why? Because what you're going to do is you're going to purchase a senior ticket or a children's ticket, which are significantly cheaper. They don't check? They do not check. I worked at a movie theater for five years. I never checked to see if that ticket said child or adult. But prior to me getting this movie pass thing, all I would get would be children's tickets. So if there is an issue, God forbid uh, somebody does check, which never happened in the thousands of times I did this trick, just say, oh, I, I clicked children. Oh, my God. That's, uh, I'm so silly. They'll probably just let you go regardless. <laughs> but, yes, that is one tick, tip or you trick know crazy, to use. Justin? My friend tried that the one time, and he immediately got checked. Really? Yep. Really? And that's why wow. I was like, oh, I guess we're going to try that again. Interesting. That's yeah, crazy. That was at the, the Limbrook one, the L- Regal Limbrook. Um, uh, here's another tip. Go to any movie theater and complain. <laughs> and what I mean by complain, say you're in the movie theater and you're not really digging the movie. Say you saw a mouse in the theater. Wow. Go up to the people in the movie theater after and say, I saw a mouse. What they're going to do is they're just going to give you a movie pass. Wow. As somebody, again, who worked at a movie theater for five years, they just hand out passes willy-nilly. Mm-hmm. They don't care. They don't want any questions, especially when it's something as serious as a mouse. I actually did see a mouse while watching Ant-Man really? a few weeks ago at that wow. Lindbergh Theater. Should have been uh, an ant. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Could have asked for his autograph. I, I didn't complain because I have the Regal Unlimited pass, but yeah, say you saw a mouse. Say somebody was talking too loud while watching the movie. Mm-hmm. They're going to give you passes. Wow. So those are some tips Ooh. and tricks that I, I definitely recommend. And trust me, there's definitely mice movie theaters because my dad's exterminator. He does there's only movie theaters. Like, there's so many movie theaters he does, like, that would shock you, honestly. You think all these movie theaters are clean? They're really not. The amount of mice that I saw while working at the movie theater is Mm -mm. astonishing. Did you name them? There was nothing worse (laughs) than seeing uh, a mouse while there are customers there. (laughs) Because <laughs> you can't react. You nope, know, you're getting you the popcorn and you're like, ha ha, mouse. Like, you see it in the corner of your eye and you can't be like, ah, ah, a mouse, a mouse. The worst instinct, uh, the worst um, uh, example of this was uh, involving a mouse with me was we have uh, a 
a metal tray that you open to start the day, and it has the popcorn seeds in mm-hmm. it, right? So you, 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 the kernels, you know, you put them in the popcorn maker, and it makes popcorn. Uh, I open that little metal tray. A mouse is in there. <laughs> I close oh. the lid. I swear to God, I don't know if this, this is just my imagination. I feel like I closed the lid, and I heard like a little... Like a ding. Like he like jumped up and like knocked his head. Uh, I w- was told by my manager, you need to take care of this mouse. I say, honey, I don't get paid enough to be taking care of no mouse. So she had to call oh, up her husband, man. Ron, who does karate. Ron, He's Ron. a karate instructor, and he took karate care of the mouse. I don't know what he did. I don't know if he, if he snapped its neck. I don't know if he let it go. All I know is I don't get paid enough to deal with live mouse. I'll, me the I'll, scoop up the, I'll scoop up the dead mice, which I did several times. Nice. Any place that involves food, that. any place with that. food, any no. restaurant, any supermarket, any movie theater, any school has mice. That's true. That's true. Very true. Shout out to Very mice true. and shout out to Ron, Karate Master. Yippee. Karate Ron. Sandy, let me let me let me hear what you do to save money. You dye your own hair. What you do? Um, actually, I don't. I work. I used to work at a hair salon, so I just got to dye there. But anyways, I honestly have to agree with Justin. Mm. I'm a huge person about when it comes to complaining. You like complain if I am, lot, huh? if I am even slightly what dissatisfied with something, I will talk about it. But I always try to be nice about it because, you know, there are enough people yelling at you. Like, I'll be like, hey, I really appreciated the service, but my food was less than satisfactory. Mm -hmm. Like, I went to Wingstop the other day. I hate that. I paid $25 worth of food. It was so salty. I couldn't even eat it. I sent them an email and I got a $10 gift card. $10? But anyways, um, (laughs) my main point. Are you happy or not happy about that? I can't tell. I'm upset. Because it's like, it was a $25 order. I could barely eat it, but I only got a $10 $10 gift card. Now, how much food did you eat before you complained? Um, I ate a couple wings until That's I why. felt. That's why. That's why. Until get I felt dollars. horrible because it was so salty and the dips were. What salty. flavor you get? Lemon pepper. Um, no, I got garlic parm. Uh, no, I and she's asking why it's salty. You yeah. got garlic parmesan. Are you kidding me? Come on. Garlic parmesan is parmesan. not that spicy. They've you said salty. It is salty. I mean, it's not that salty. It's <laughs> not that. Th- it's buffalo. definitely not salty like that. And anyways, these these wings are old. But anyways, <laughs> give me their email. I'll this. take care of this for you. <laughs> I got you. I have ways. <laughs> okay, but anyways, um, my huge money saving tip is freaking couponing. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. I don't understand. I'm all for that. <laughs> ra- why do people not coupon? You know, Seriously, like you're telling me you yeah. paid ten dollars for a Whopper meal, bro? I got this for five. Big Burger King is big on coupons. Big. You. They don't get any yep. business. That's that is true. McDonald's Burger King is pretty bad food. As somebody who eats. worked at Burger King, that is not true. Trust me, we got business. I don't know. Dairy I cools. can never eat a Burger King. Yeah, the bad really? Maybe bad the Beyond eats. Burger. I can eat the Beyond Burger. The Beyond me. Burger is good. It's pretty good. I heard that's good. Yeah, but it is not good. the actual meat. So you got the coupons, huh? I do the coupons yeah. too, and I actually use them on Tuesday for Subway. Nice. Oh. I get these Subway coupons in the mail. And then I go to specific subways and they say, we don't accept coupons. Like every what? subway pretty much does not accept coupons, so even though I got the subway my coupons. My dad got that a lot too. Yo, my dad complained about that so many times. He said that he's been to five different subways for that coupon thing. Yeah. All the things, no, we don't take coupons here. Who does that? The Why one do you not take coupons? The one at the Westbury, right near the Westbury Theater, the movie theater, that one does take uh, coupons. <laughs> you have to go all the way to Westbury to get yeah. some subway. <laughs> <laughs> but like all the other ones, I went to three different yep. subways and- how do you let us say that? What does that mean? Yeah, but anyways, their subs are almost like ten dollars now. It's like, yeah, why are you not no taking a coupon? Five foot, five foot, you want to know why? Because they're all privately owned. Like they all oh, have their own owners. Yeah, it's not like a McDonald's. Yeah. I, I don't even know. McDonald's might have private owners too, yeah. but it's not like a like a yeah. huge it's like franchisee. Yeah. More like, uh, so like each one can I guess have their own mm-hmm. rules and regulations. I got into the huge fight with Subway a few uh-huh. years ago. I told you that story. I hope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I, I I was online with my coupons. And I was trying to be a good guy like Robin Hood and give to the poor. There was <laughs> people behind like me. I like gave that. them. I said, oh, you're getting a six inch? Here, take this coupon. They said, sir, you're not allowed to give any coupons. I go, what? I go, I what? Can't. It's a coupon. It's my coupon. Why are you Anyone just going to lose them? them. Just, what? This is like Robin Hood. He like goes, what do you mean I can give a coupon? What's wrong with that? Yeah. <laughs> so then, feel. I tried wow. calling Subway's customer service. They don't even have a customer service what? hotline anymore. You have to email them. So I ended up emailing them. They said, come on down. We're going to make it right. They gave me a free cookie. I went down to retrieve. I went down to retrieve that free cookie. The lady working there says, 
I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> uh, this is no no good. I'm like no good, I'm like, say. what? No. This read the email. It says it's from the dude. And Anyways, then, it's a free cookie. It's like two dollars. Then I kept on complaining <laughs> oh and complaining and complaining. And the moral of the story is I got my cookie. There we good. go. So good. it pays to complain. It, it pays to complain. Yep. That's right. I've got free cookies, free sneakers, so, all this stuff. Sometimes it's being just an try annoying to be nice about it. Yep. Sometimes being an annoying customer pays off. Yeah, yeah. just yeah, again. Guys, just get out the store. We don't want you here. Please <laughs> be nice about it. Please be nice about it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just, just yeah, be nice. Yeah, about just, it. just be nice. Just treat them as human beings. Because I've had uh, my fair share of people. And you who have to are be just, blessed about yeah, it. Yeah, you ha- and you just have <laughs> to be nice about it. Like there's this one lady, her name is Beth. I don't care. You remember her name? Yeah, we know her by name. She I does hate the same you, Beth. thing every she's time she regular? comes. She oh, gets she nah. comes. She thinks she's like the best customer <laughs> in the world. And she's really not. Like she's such a pain in the ass. <laughs> she literally Beth, she gets a kid's meal, two-piece strips. <laughs> Every time, she always asks for the kid's toy. Like, she makes sure that we put the kid's wow. toy in the bag. That's crazy. She fiends That's for it. weird. One time, she came back, right? Like, I'm back, like, mind you, we're, like, short. This is, like, we're short people this shift. Yeah. And, like, I'm, like, uh, I'm a supervisor. So, like, I'm running, like, the Whoa, floor. Because the, the, the managers are in the back. <laughs> and, I, and I'm bagging, like, two screens. So, I'm bagging the mobile orders and the, the orders that come yeah. out to the customers at the same time. Like, I'm doing, like, a lot. And we're already short-staffed as it is. So, I hear Brianna. I need some help over here. I turn around. It's Beth, and <laughs> she's and she's <laughs> like, she's like, my my strips weren't cooked. She's always asked for them well done, and we yeah. don't do well done food. She's like, nope. oh, I, I want them well done. So then I'm like, all right, just give me one second, like, because <laughs> I'm like literally busy. Yeah. I turn around. She starts eating the strips when she wants. She no, she <laughs> she got nuggets by accident, and she wanted strips. So she's eating the nuggets when she's supposed to be eating strips. I'm like, I literally like I all like the like the good manners and like the good like mentality just go. Out of out of my head. I'm like, why are you eating the food? I literally yell at her. I'm like, why are you eating the food? She's like, I don't know. I'm like diabetic, you know. And I'm like, what? I'm what? like, man, I'm like, why are you? Eating? Literally, my manager had to come out. Like, people literally were coming from the back and they overheard me yelling at this lady because I was so frustrated. First I was, off, I was, <laughs> what happened? First like, off, I'm a diabetic and I d- didn't understand that, a exactly, word that person. It, she, she I've was, been a diabetic since I was four years old and I don't even. Yeah, know yeah. That. She, that, she was just crazy. she was just making up stuff. Oh I literally yelled at her. God. The manager came from the back to like resolve the issue I was That's like crazy. what are you doing but yeah Frank quickly I heard you say you couponing so your answer is coupons right where, where do you coupon the most Frank um I don't really use them too much but right. uh but I do have a I do have a few other gotcha. things I do to save money um and that's to put loose change in like a jar or mm-hmm. a, oh, like when yeah. you pay for cash and you get like change and yeah, stuff a little piggy bank trust me it adds up and if you put it in your uh, bank account every few months you it do? W- it will I add up. Well, I haven't. Yeah, I, me too. Honestly, yeah. I, I, I haven't done it yet. I am collecting, but I haven't really done that. I I probably should because my we should all go is, together one day to the bank. Kind it of is change. filling up. Yeah. Something else I like. Uh, something else I think we should do is the fifty-two week challenge. What's that about? Oh yeah. I so the that. thing is, you save one dollar the first week, two dollars the second. Oh, that sounds hard. Third. Th- yeah, three dollars the third week, and you can actually save a lot. You'll it have says- thirty dollars by the end of the year. <laughs> Whoa. Fifth- that was no, so wrong. No, no, like you do one dollar and then you do <laughs> two dollars. Oh, so like then three. To the so like you can save, you can save about one thousand three hundred seventy-eight dollars by the end of the year. Oh, so holy cow! Look at that. <laughs> holy that's a cow! Lot. That's almost two thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty insane. Yeah, Justin, you're really good at math. All right. Oh wow! And I got one more got thing. A mathematician here. Two <laughs> words: easy pass. Easy, easy pass. pass. Easy pass. Whenever I'm actually right after the show, I'm heading upstate to. You are. Oh. Yeah, wow. to see my uh, to get my sister from college, oh. and Whoa. during our Pick drive around. upstate, we're going to be passing like three toll booths. Let's go count them, and four four on the way back, four and that back. adds up if you seven don't have an easy pass. So that's nine you, toll booths. If oh, you, silly <laughs> seven. Jeez. Man, got Oopsies. a math You need to go back to math, Justin. Oh. Mm. I feel like you here. need to be Trust like a me, If you don't have an easy pass, those bills, they rack up. They, they still kind of rack up with an easy pass, but it's not as bad. Not so as bad. No. definitely an easy pass. I highly recommend it if you don't have one gotcha. and you do travel out of the state often. Very quickly, I'm going to ask Brianna and then we'll go into it. But basically, the reason why I'm asking all these people here about their cheapest way they uh, create a shortcut or what they spend less money on is because this holiday, we might have to use a substitution for a certain grocery item. Because this item in the grocery store has hit the markets for way too much money, and it's in a shortage right now. So we might have to 
have a different kind of holiday. All right, I'll get into that after I ask Brianna. What do you use as a shortcut for uh, any type of expense? I'm not only really saving money, but you know that save now, pay later. That yeah. pay now, yeah, pay now, pay later thing. I'll do that sometimes. You do like Klarna. You do like little methods of yeah, like little intervals Klarna, of paying. Like little after, yeah, little after pay. Oh, yeah. like you oh, pay. Is, they always hit when you don't have the money. Yeah. though. I mean, it's kind of like like Kanye West and that one song, but it doesn't matter. We're not talking about him. Wait, so you're He's talking about guy, like the guy. monthly payments? It, it's like every two weeks or it really depends yeah. on like basically you pay yeah. it's like intervals yeah. you pay intervals uh, most stores offer it as well but there's an app now called Klarna or other apps as well where all you do is you sign up you put your card in there and they automatically uh, bill you certain months like you know they, it's monthly so they bill you like a dividend of that price and they take care of the whole thing on the spot mm-hmm. and they'll take your card and they pay it like you know they, they bill it and um, you know the only bad thing about that is that like, you forget about the payments, yeah. and then you know you're you're down like a uh, hundred bucks, and your your bank account's like at thirty cents right now. I honestly yeah. do like the payment method, yeah. so it's not like you're taking out like hundreds of thousands of mm-hmm. dollars out of your account at once. You do it like sporadically. Like that's when I got my new uh, uh, iPhone yeah. a few years ago. That's what uh well, well makes my mom technically paid yeah. for it, so my mom decided to do the Trust monthly. Your mom, yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, it's it's good. I'm happy they have that. Mm-hmm. No, it's smart. It's good stuff. Really smart idea. Mm-hmm. Now, um, the reason why I brought it up, right, is because Easter's coming, guys. And if you don't yep. remember, there's been an egg shortage due to a certain type oh. of bird oh, flu yeah. strand yeah. because it's uh, creating a shortage of eggs. Mm-hmm. So eggs are really higher priced right now. So people are now going to be using potato sprouts as cheaper Easter egg substitute alternatives. With egg prices still high, the potato industry is looking to scramble up Easter traditions scramble. with a budget. Scramble. You get it? <laughs> yeah. No, no, let me break it down for you. See, eggs, what you could do with eggs is you Just could scramble them. So when Antonio uh, was reading that article, no, 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 just be quiet for me. When Antonio was reading <laughs> that article, he said something like, uh, what did you say again? Something about scramble? Scramble up the prices. Scramble up the prices. Now, that what that means is it's like a joke. Okay, Justin. Oh, thank we you, get Captain it, Justin. Uh, now we right. get it. With the budget-friendly alternative, Easter potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> why it matters? Potato producers are taking advantage of the fact that the price of eggs went up fifty-five point four percent. Whoa, guys! Ooh. Eggs are almost one hundred percent up. How ah, is that possible? Through the roof. Oh, jeez. In February, compared to a year earlier, while potato has only increased thirteen point five. Uh, either way, both these items have increased. Inflation is crazy. They're through I the coop. All right, so. <laughs> Hey, that anyway, joke cracked me it. up. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? I don't care. You it's made a cracked, joke. And I cracked. Crack. <laughs> what? Anyways. <laughs> Wait. You, I got one more yoke for you. Oh. 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 And I'm not ag- exactly sure how to say it. Yeah. Uh. What? I don't got anything uh, to say. I thought oh, he was going to do Is there something you could think of? Uh, Maybe we can add um, a funny little joke. Uh, let's see if I can think of for a yoke. Uh, something with eggs, 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 uh, omelets, eggs, Kanye, um, Benedict, 21 Jump yeah, Street, 21 Jump Street, uh, uh, I don't know, like right. Chicken Little, you know, man, yeah. mm, no, I don't I'm all out of ideas, it's alright, yeah. boiled, half a dozen, dozen eggs, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. out, all all right. Right. he's all out of ideas, oh. regardless though, this Easter, Omelets. whether you're using eggs, whether you're using potatoes, enjoy your Easter, enjoy your past. over easy, over yeah. easy, this what? show's almost over, oh, easy. easy, take it easy, uh, yeah, all right, I liked it, that was pretty good, I feel like you have one Fri- more in fried you. eggs, one more in you. something with fries, Fry. oh, we gotta have uh, something here. over sunny side, Sun, sunny side, I wish it was sunny side up outside, then I would be watching the Mets. I wish the it Mets, was baby. The Mets. Fried day. That's exactly what I needed. Four out of three people struggle with math. Those same four people love the Nassau Morning Madhouse. 90.3 plus you and me equals fun. That's the lamest shit I ever heard. Thanks for being here. 90.3 WHPC.